Hey there YouTube, The Spicer here, bringing you the spiciest news we possibly can here on the Gunpla Network. And of course, <laughs> we've got a lot to cover, so let's go ahead and jump into it. The only Haro on this week's news is the Haro Black TriStar Custom Edition, which is set to release in August of 2019 for a price tag of 540 yen. Not only is this very cute, but somewhat mis menacing as well as it dons the Black TriStar's custom color scheme. The Black TriStars were three ace pilots from Xeon in the One Year War, which uh, kind of, you get a little bit of ribbing back and forth between them and Char and all of that, you see a little bit in the origin OVAs, but very cool to bring this very iconic design to the Haro Plo world. In SD news, we also have the Cross Silhouette SD Unicorn Gundam Destroy Mode set to release in August of 2019 for a price tag of 1,080 yen. Of course, coming from Gundam Unicorn, this is the NTD or New Type Destroyer mode that we're getting a look at here with its nice red inner psycho frame which really makes it a threat to any New Type pilot it comes across, allowing the pilot in the Gundam itself to control it as if it were pretty much being controlled directly by the mind with very little input necessary. It's very cool to see this in the smaller line. Of course, the frame is sold separately. The cutest HG on the list today, we have the HG Charagai Sarah, set to release in September of 2019 for a price tag of 972 yen. This takes the Sarah character from the Mobile Suit Gundam Build Diver series and puts it in a combination with the Bear Guy, Chera Guy style design. So you get a removable faceplate with Sarah's face as well as just the regular traditional Chera Guy face. Very cool to get this nice little nod to fans. Moving on to the high grade line, we've got the high grade After Colony Sand Rock Gundam. This is set to release in September of 2019 for a price tag of 1,500 Japanese yen. The Sand Rock is one of five Gundams made of Gundanium alloy, thus the name, that took part in Operation Meteor in the After Colony era. The Sand Rock is piloted by Quattro Rababa winner and has a couple of really only two variations in the actual show. Not sure if we'll get the extra accessory parts, but we do get to finally see that the Shotels, the giant swords he has, actually have a heated version as they're supposed to be heat weapons in the show. So it is nice to see we're getting that, and maybe we won't have to hold out for the machine gun. We have the high grade Cosmic Era Destiny Gundam Heine Wonderfloos Custom Limited Edition. The release date is set for July 2019 for a price tag of 2,376 Japanese yen. Since this is limited edition, it will have its initial run and that is all that is planned. So if you're gonna get it, get it now because you're not gonna have a good price point to get it at later. Heine Wonderfloos was an ace pilot for Zaft during the second Alliance Plant War. This unit sports his custom orange color scheme, kind of like Char, but instead of red, it's just orange. He wears a red uniform, or he's a red uniform pilot in the Zaft forces, signifying he is an ace, he's an elite member of their military, and he's actually part of Zaft's faith detachment, so he's even like super special forces, much like Shin Asuka later becomes, and Asuka Athranzala becomes a little bit earlier. Moving on, but sticking with high grades, we've got the HGUC Silver Bullet Suppressor, set to release in June of 2019 for a price tag of 2,916 Japanese yen. The Silver Bullet Suppressor is an offshoot of the ARX-014 Silver Bullet used by the Vist Foundation in Gundam Unicorn. The Suppressor is piloted by Banajra Lynx, as you may know the main character of Gundam Unicorn interestingly enough, in the movie Mobile Suit Gundam Narrative. It is armed with the same massively powerful beam magnum the Unicorn Gundam wields, which results in crippling the mobile suit's arm. This explains the massive backpack with six other arm attachments that actually look functional from the promotional images we see. So a very cool gimmick, and it's a really neat dark take on this design, and I really like it. Moving into the big boys, we've got the Master Grade 1100 NT1 Alex 2.0. I know a bunch of people are really excited about this. Good news, it's coming out in June of 2019, so your wait is almost over. 
It's set to release at a price point of 6,264 Japanese yen. And a little backstory in case you're not familiar, all two of you. The NT-1 Alex Gundam was actually originally designed for New Type Armor Array during the One Year War. With its 360 degree cockpit and magnetic coating on the armor, it was supposed to respond quicker and be easier and more effective for Amuro to use since he was outpacing the original RX-78-2 by the end of the One Year War. Unfortunately, the test pilot Christina McKenzie had to use it in battle in defense of the base as well as the mobile suit in which it fought against a top secret Xeon sabotage mission in which it fought the Kempfer as well as a Zaku 2. Ultimately it did end up being destroyed mostly in that conflict but did later get uh, reintroduced as the Tristan um, in the Twilight Axis movie. We've got the Master Grade Lunamaria Hawks Gunner Zaku Warrior, which we've taken a look at before, but we've got some new promo images come out, so of course we want to talk about it again because it's a very cool, very uh, promising release. Um, still set to release in September of 2019 for a price tag of 4,644 Japanese yen. Um, we actually get to talk about this on the podcast we did recently with Jabman025 about what the Zaku Warrior from Gundam Seed can bring to the table in terms of future releases, so go check that out. It's a very cool listen. Jabman's got some really cool ideas on that. We've got the high res 1100 Astray Noir being dark and edgy. The release date set for June 2019 at a price point of 17,280 yen, so he is expensive. This is pilot piloted by coordinator Dante Giorgiani. The Estray Noir is a prototype that came from the Acteon project. Using the Estray frame with the Noir Striker Pack, we've got a very versatile machine that really focuses in on sword play and close quarters encounters. Rounding us out, we have the Metal Build Crossbone XMX2 Gundam. Set to release in November 2019 for a price tag of a whopping 26,400 Japanese yen. This mobile suit was developed by the Strategic Naval Research Institute, or SNRI for short, in use around Jupiter's atmosphere. Part of the XM series, this unit and two, the two others of the series were given to the Crossbone Vanguard. This particular unit was actually piloted by the head of the previous Crossbone Vanguard, Bura Ronan. You might remember him from the F-91 movie. In short, this is the Metal Build Crossbone X-1, darker color scheme, and a few other accessories that you didn't get with the X-1. So, if you like it, and you want to pay like $260, you do you. Some more P-Bandai, we look at the P-Bandai High Grade Mega Bazooka, which you can use with your Hyakushiki or you can use with uh, your Jagan uh, Echowas types from uh, Gundam Unicorn. This is set to release in August of 2019 for a price tag of 1,620 yen. Another P Bandai support craft is the HG Dodai Kai, set to release in August 2019 for a price tag of 1,296 yen. Very cool that we get this, especially after looking at like base jabbers and things like that. So for any of you Zeta era fans, this is really going to be something that you can put on your shelf or display your other kits with, especially if you've got some of the ground-based kits like the DJ or the Yakushiki that wouldn't really be able to pull off atmospheric flight. We've got the high-grade Yakushiki Revive gold coating version, so you get the really shiny gold finish on it. Set to release in August of 2019 for a price tag of 4,320 Japanese yen. Very cool that we get this. I mean, I don't know that we needed it, but it does save people the hassle of painting it, and it does look very reminiscent of, I think, what the Hyakushiki and the Delta Gundam were really pushed to look like. Um, very glossy, very shiny, very metallic and gold. So it was a very cool design. Any of you Hyakushiki fans out there, this is a must-have. Moving on into the only real grade on this, this is the P-Bandai real grade Gold Frame Astray Amatsuhana. This is set to release June 2019 for a price tag of 3,240 yen. Developed from the MBF P01 Amatsumina, 
It's uh, pretty much just the same thing, but white. Funny enough, I did a little digging. Amatsu means heavenly and Hana means flower. So it's heavenly flower. It's kind of a cool name, especially with it being white and gold. It's piloted by, I'm going to pronounce this wrong, Kazuhana Ajara, a six-year-old who is part of Serpent Tail. We get a little bit out of uh, her story with the uh, Astray series, of course, and I believe she's actually in seed for just a little bit working with Morgan Rowe. Starting off looking at the top five builds of the week here, we've got fifth place with Jeffrey and his SS1 Leo S-Type. In fourth place, we have Jessie JC and her Poison Ivy Princess. In third place, we have Chris Pablate in his Double Zeta Gundam Bust Custom. In second place, we have Raphael Anosia in Perseus. This week, in first place, we have Kurt Hill and his Dom Colony Diorama. And that is it for the last two weeks, guys. And of course, if you have any comments, please leave them down below here on the video or on our website or on Facebook or on Instagram. We're everywhere these days. Be sure to check out all those pages as well. We really do appreciate all the continued support and all the love we get from all the fans and the active members of the community. Outside of that, you know it's been your boy, the Spicer. It's been the spiciest news, and well, hopefully it just keeps getting spicier.